For those of you that play Fortnite, you guys know that there was an update in Fortnite Battle Royale. I don't know if there was an update in Save the World Zombie Apocalypse, but um, see, I can't speak. Um, we're gonna be watching a video of eight new guns that were added to Fortnite. Let me turn up the brightness for the video. We're trying to get all the way up for the video. Okay, so let's start the video. Oh, wait. Welcome to Best Trends. Sorry about, sorry about that. That was a commercial. And I had to cut it. Fortnite Battle Royale weapons that need to be added in 2018. Do you want some free V-Bucks? Yes. Well, we're going to be giving away $25 worth of V-Bucks to 50 different people. All you have to do is leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications. And once you've done all that, go down below in the comment okay. section okay. and comment free V-Bucks. You guys don't Fortnite need to do adding some new guns as the game progresses, but there are some awesome concepts that people have came up with and new gun ideas. So I thought, why not share some of these with you guys? So, what are we waiting for? Let's get into this. Number eight, the ray gun. The famous ray gun. Many of you probably know about the ray gun from playing Call of Duty Zombies. But the ray gun is a science fiction particle beam weapon, and it fires destructive energy. So this gun would definitely be very, very overpowered in Fortnite, and it would almost be like the Zapatron, a very rare gun that wouldn't be found very often. Even though the Zapatron isn't a part of Fortnite no longer, but them adding a ray gun would definitely change the Fortnite game. Number seven, the LMG. The LMG, or better known as the light machine gun, this year would definitely be super insane to have in Fortnite. To be able to just mow down walls to open areas for your okay. teammates or you to engage so, in battle much easier. That not would just be that, pretty cool. A light cool machine to have gun has a very large clip, so when like fighting that. someone, they would end up having to reload, but then you won't because you can continue to spray and hopefully clean them up and maybe take a W. Okay, if Number you six, didn't know. The auto shotgun. Wait, let me just this would definitely pause change the close for a range game in Fortnite. Some people, some people come from, that come to me are from Jacob's channel. I mean, people can move on to different YouTubers if they want. And also, some of my fans have went to Jacob's channel. So it's pretty fair. I think it's fair and square. But we do play Fortnite on his channel. My channel isn't really a gaming channel, but we will be doing a gaming channel soon, I think. And I think we might be going searching after Jacob's back from San Francisco. Go check out his channel, because he's going to be at San Francisco. So you can watch his channel, him at San Francisco. So, we will be doing a searching video when he's back. I'll be searching for the rare guns. I think that's what we're going to be doing. And back to the video. Just holding down the mouse or the trigger on your controller and just lighting them up. Or they would have to be using the tactical or pump. And unless, obviously, they had another auto shotgun. But this just sounds like it could change the game entirely. Number five, the ninja sword or katana. Bringing swords into the game would definitely not be a strong weapon. So if they did add it, it would definitely have to be incorporated into the game as a pickaxe skin. But this would definitely be the coolest pickaxe around. If they put this up and it was around they $20 or so, I'll have to be honest, I'd probably end up snagging that. First of all, they already have a sword in Save the World. So if you want a sword, play Save the World. Just be able to swap to my pickaxe and it being a sword. Just a great idea and a really cool concept. Number four. The bolt action rifle. So for those of you who are wondering, what in the world is a bolt action rifle? Clearly it's pretty self-explanatory, but the way I think of it is, 
for those of you who have played Call of Duty, well, I don't really know if this gun is in the newest Call of Duties, but I think of it as the FAL. It's a bolt action rifle that you would have to shoot, and it'd only shoot as fast as you were shooting. So, it's kind of similar to the pistol, but a much more longer range. This gun would definitely be very overpowered if you have good aim. So the way I imagine it to be is, just like the pump shotgun, but maybe a little less damage because you can shoot two bullets back to back, but if you end up landing both those bullets, it would be a kill no matter what. But the thing is here, would you be able to land both those shots, or will you end up most likely dying due to the lengthy reload process after missing one of them? It'd be similar to the normal pump shot. It'd be similar to the normal pump shotgun and reload time. Number two, the shredder. This here is called the shredder. But I personally don't know what exactly okay, it is. I don't know the way I imagine shit. it to be is what a is laser shit? shotgun. So this would be very similar to the okay, ray gun. So we can't really shotgun. steal this guy's whole video, so we have to do something else for this video. But that was some of the that was probably like five five guns that should be added to Fortnite, which I didn't I mean, I could very make a better video about that, but they just keep on adding things from Call of Duty, which I don't play Call of Duty, so I don't know what it is, so. Oh, three times Dinty and Cry on the video. Okay, let's watch that. QuickBook self-employed goes everywhere you do. Okay, commercial. Hey, how's it going, guys? And welcome to Best Trends. Today, we're going to be taking a look at three times that Dan TDM cried on camera. Right before we get into the video, we are doing a massive giveaway. What we are giving away is 30 iTunes Google Play cards or Minecraft okay, cards. Okay, no, new stop. New winners every single stop. day. All I have to do to enter is leave a like, stop. subscribe, turn on no, notifications. No, no, don't that turn that on his notifications. Don't subscribe to him. <laughs> don't subscribe to Best Trends. Don't. Many people, but today we're going to be focusing on okay. sad moments that occurred in Dan TDM's life. Gladly, we don't have many videos of Dan TDM crying, but I did end up managing to find three. So let's start taking a look at these. Number three, Ruben's dead. Ruben is a pig that is in Minecraft story mode, and Dan TDM is reacting to his death when he dies in the story mode. Oh, he died? a sad thing for Dan, just due to how connected he is I with Minecraft. Ruben is said to have died as a hero in the story, and Dan was definitely very upset that he would no longer see the pig. He's literally crying. Look. Don't do it. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Number two, in his fan reading video, Dan Dan was doing a video where he reads his fans' comments, and this one was a fake cry. But the one after this one is actually pretty sad, so be sure to stick around for that one as well. This but for this one, cry? Dan reads a comment where his fans ask him, when is he going to receive his diamond play button? And Dan has really been wanting his diamond play button, and he hasn't received it yet, and so he kind of does a little fake cry, like, oh no, I, when am I going to receive it? And when do you get your diamond play button? I don't know! This That's fan pretty video. Pretty Dan. This one is pretty heart touching and definitely made Dan cry. It actually makes a lot of other YouTubers what in this, this situation cry as well. But all kinds of fans sent in videos of them making, of them thanking Dan and saying how much they appreciate him uploading his videos every single day okay. and just how he warms their heart in general. And Dan ended up reacting to this video of all his fans thanking him and they ended up just getting to him roughly three to four minutes into the video and he begins to tear up and then proceeds to cry. And I can't thank you enough for that. You mean the world to me. Pika, thank you for always being I definitely met you. <laughs> hey, Dan. I really want to thank you for all you've done. Oh, for look, he's crying. And all those millions of people you make happy every day. Guys, you got me. <laughs> and if you're watching this, you uh, definitely got me. I'm actually here. You actually made me cry. I mean, wow. That was, uh... That was amazing. But unfortunately, after doing some more research, I ended up finding another really sad video from Dan TDM. And this is when his dog, Peggy, ends up dying. Okay, that one is sad. One. And he loved this dog so much. And this is honestly super sad. And I couldn't imagine if my puppy ever died. Like, that'd be insane. I love my puppy so much. And I'd never want anything like that to happen. So I truly feel right now for Dan TDM. Um. And this one is definitely one of the saddest ones. But this is going to be the last one. So okay. we might as well call this one. Four times at Dan TDM crying. 
check out this clip, you guys. We had to, we had to say goodbye to Peggy. We had to hurt. She was never really a, a well dog anyway. So, so yesterday, she was just deteriorating. Deteriorating really badly, and oh, we made the decision to her wrong, that's her really sad. sleep before before it got even worse. She was not in pain. But you guys, the video is sadly coming to an end. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy. You okay, that last one was sad. I agree on the last one. The other ones, I think, were just a little, you know, crazy because it's a video game. It's Someone dies in a video game. He wouldn't like any shooting games, clearly. But he plays shooting games sometimes, I think. I don't know, he does. He, he plays Fortnite. He kills people. Right? Yeah. There's a video just came up that he's playing Fortnite. Ten YouTubers who cried on camera. Yeah, everyone. Every YouTuber has cried on camera. I don't think I have, though. It's a little dead. But I haven't made much videos, so. Maybe I will. Yeah, I think that's going to be all for today. It's a pretty long video, actually. Eh, it's 11 minutes. It's not too long. Longer than most of my videos, but... Um, I at least got to get 10 minutes of content, and I did, so... I'm happy. Oh, but have, you, have any of you noticed how dumb Kylo, Kylo Ren looks, like, in, without his mask on? He looks so dumb, like... Why is Spot Bubble Fett? Why is Bubble Fett back there? And then Kylo Ren's here. They're in two different movies! Okay, make sure you subscribe. Put your note, post in your notes. Yeah, notifications on. Make sure you check out Jake's channel and leave a comment if you like this video. Peace.